And a very pleasant good evening, everybody, from the campus of Charleston. Well, it's not really the campus. It's the <laughs> it's the uh, Charleston Catholic Athletic Facilities high atop the mountain in Charleston, West Virginia. Hi, everybody. Brian Nost on video productions with your coverage tonight of Wheeling Central playing uh, visitor tonight as they take on the Charleston Catholic girls here in Charleston, West Virginia. Glad you're along with us on video production. Should be a good one coming into tonight. Wheeling Central Catholic has had a, um, uh, a decent season. They're doing very well so far. And uh, as we look at their schedule, they uh, started 7-0. They're kind of uh, all over the place, really, uh, here lately. They started 7-0, and then they dropped three straight. And then they went on to win five of their next six. And then now they've lost three in a row coming into tonight, uh, the latest being uh, the loss at Cameron the other night, 65 to 53. So they're 12 and 7 on the year are the uh, Central Catholic Knights and uh, we'll, uh, it'll be interesting to see how they match up tonight against Charleston Catholic. They come into the ball game do the uh, Charleston Catholic girls with a 9 and 8 record. Now they've kind of been all over the place as well. 9 and 8, they started 1 and 1. Then they rolled off four in a row with wins against Bridgeport, Herbert Hoover, Buffalo and Magnolia. They dropped one to Parkersburg Catholic, and then they won at Clay County. Uh, they just haven't been consistent. They've won one, they've lost one, they've won one, they've lost a couple. And their latest uh, outing last night at Polka, and they lost to the Dots 49-38 to last night. So 9-8 and eight on the year so far for Charleston Catholic girls basketball. Double A category, both of these teams, you, you'll remember years ago before they did the uh, class switch, they uh, used to be in uh, single A, but now Charleston Catholic registers double A, of course, due to enrollment and Wheeling Central uh, from um, obviously Wheeling, West Virginia, a single A school. So we're about to get started here in just a second. Glad to have you along with us here on Video Productions coverage of high school basketball here in the state of West Virginia. I didn't choose the pain, but I put off having joint replacement surgery as long as I could, but it became unbearable. I didn't choose a bad knee, but I did choose Thomas. I trusted Dr. Freddie Persinger's orthopedic expertise. The nurses made me feel comfortable and I received encouragement every step of the way. And I'm grateful for every step. Choosing Thomas made all the difference. Here at Children's Dentistry, you may notice things are a little different. Mom and Dad expect us to treat them like a child.
Starting lineups just announced here tonight. First of all, for Wheeling Central, Haley Severance, Annabella Fitzsimmons, Mariah Ratcliffe, Addie Payton, and Caitlin Blake. For the homestanding Lady Irish, Layla Carter, Aurelia Kirby, who did not play last night. She was unavailable. She's back in the lineup tonight. Mary Rushworth, Sarah Rahin, and Talena Williams. That rounds out the top five. And away we go. Wheeling Central controls the tip, and we are underway. High school basketball in Charleston, West Virginia on a Friday night. Blake puts up the shot, no good. Back the other way is Rahin with the shot, no good. And rebound, Wheeling Central. Back the other way, here come the Maroon Knights. It's Addie Payton with it. Between the circles, she'll dribble around left side as she sets the offense. Blake inside to Fitzsimmons. She takes the shot, it's no good. Rebound, back the other way. Here comes Kirby. Aurelia Kirby with it. Down left side to Mary Rushworth. Back out to Kirby. Between the circles. Kirby goes inside, puts up the shot. No good. Rebound. And the stick back is good for Layla Carter. Nice feed inside. Shot is no good. But Addie Payton stepped on the line, and it'll be Irish basketball. Pressure defense applied by Wheeling Central. We, and Charleston Catholic has trouble handling it as Aurelia Kirby couldn't handle it. On the right side, it goes out of bounds, and the ball goes back to the Maroon Knights. Just underway here, two to nothing, our score in favor of Charleston Catholic. Kirby knocks it out of bounds and Central will inbound in front of the Catholic bench. Fitzsimmons now to Addie Payton, out top to Caitlin Blake. Shot put up by Fitzsimmons, no good. Rebound Blake, shot no good. It's knocked out of bounds. Blake knocks it out of bounds, and it'll go back to Wheeling Central. Or, excuse me, Charleston Catholic. <clears throat> nice job on the defense from the Maroon Knights. Creates a turnover. Central will inbound under their basket. Peyton with it, picked up there by Kirby, top of the circle. Kirby inside, puts it up, no good. Carter with the rebound. Nice defense in the backcourt for Matty Peyton. Kirby's got to hurry to get it across, and she just does. Peyton with some great defense for the Maroon Knights. Sarah Rahin goes inside. Nice pass underneath. Carter can't get it to go. Rebound central. Back the other way. Here come the Maroon Knights. Inside pass to Caitlin Blake. She trips, kicks it out to Peyton for the shot. No good. Central with the rebound. Back up and scores is Haley Severance. And we're tied at two. Back the other way, there is a foul on the floor. Wheeling Central is guilty of it, and I believe it's going to go against Caitlin Blake, and that will be her first. Fans wanted to walk, didn't get it, the Wheeling Central fans. Kirby drives up the lane. She loses the handle, but it's off of the Maroon Knights, and it'll stay Lady Irish basketball. 
4.46 to go here in the opening quarter. We're tied at two. Kirby gets it into Rahin. She goes in, takes the shot, no good, no foul. Kirby rebound, takes the shot, and it goes. Aurelia Kirby. Her first two of the night, 4-2, to two, Charleston Catholic. Caitlin Blake was looking for Haley Severance underneath, and it was too tall. Severance couldn't get it. It goes out of bounds. Another turnover. It's Charleston Catholic basketball. Kirby gets it up ahead to Rushworth. Nice move from Rushworth. She can't get it to go. Mary gets her own rebound, takes the shot, no good. Carter, no good. Out of bounds, Maroon Knights basketball. Charleston Catholic with all kinds of opportunities under their own basket, and they can't get it to go. Heidi Brammer now checking in for Catholic. She replaces Layla Carter. Carter, the only freshman starting for Charleston Catholic. Wheeling Central has Annabella Fitzsimmons. She's a freshman. She's out there representing the freshman class for Wheeling Central. It's really good to see these young kids getting a chance to play early here in their high school careers. Rushworth with it, left foul line extended, gets it into Raheen. Raheen, excuse me, loses it. Addie Payton will bring it up. Payton, right side. Fitzsimmons gets it inside to Severance, back to Fitzsimmons, three-pointer no good, and that's going to stay central basketball. Annabella Fitzsimmons out front, down low to the right side to Severance. Now back out top to Peyton. Peyton, long three is good. Addie Peyton with her first bucket of the game, and Central takes the lead 5-4. to 3.05 to go here in the first period. Sarah Rahin with a long three, no good. Rahin, the only senior playing for The Lady Irish. Nice drive to the basket, and it counts for Addie Payton. Her fifth point of the game. They'll count the basket and call the foul on Mary Rushworth. Her first, the team's first, and that'll send Payton to the line to try to make it a three-point play the hard way. She does. Peyton leads all scorers with six points. Irish break the press, get it across the timeline. Now Kirby has it between the circles. She'll drive left hand to Rushworth. Also left hand, baseline jumper is good. Nice shot from Mary Rushworth, her first two of the night. Eight to six in favor of the Maroon Knights. Blake, left side, three-point shot, no good from Ratcliffe. Lady Irish with the rebound, and they lose their dribble. Kirby gets it across the timeline. Pass inside is intercepted by Addie Payton, and she'll bring it back the other way. Nice long pass underneath to Caitlin Blake, and she gets her first two of the night. 10-6 in favor of Wheeling Central, and Catholic wants to talk about it. 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here.
So Wes Heverner saw a little bit of momentum going towards the side of the uh, Maroon Knights, and he decided to call a timeout and talk it over with his girls. Roberta Oliash is the head coach at Wheeling Central. It's been there five years, head coach four of those five. All right, so let's see what Coach Hevner drew up for the Lady Irish. Duckworth gets it across the timeline. Rushworth, excuse me, across the timeline. Rahan and Kirby out top. Now to Carter, to Rahan, right foul line extended. Pressure defense there from the Maroon Knights. Rahan takes it in, can't get it to go. Rebound central, back the other way. It's Aaron Maxwell with it. Just checked into the game out of the timeout. Inside, pass is to Maxwell. And Aaron lays it off the glass. 10, 12 to six now in favor of the Maroon Knights. Mary Rushworth pulls up from 15, no good. And the foul is going to go against Layla Carter, her first. Forty seconds to go in the first period. Maroon Knights by six, 12 to six. Maxwell is going to be called for the travel. Fans wanted a foul on Talena Williams, but Maxwell shuffled her feet just a little bit, and it'll go back the other way to the Lady Irish. 33 seconds to go in the first period. Carter with it. Right side to Rahin. To Kirby between the circles. 22 seconds. Kirby drives the lane. Uncontested. She's going to be fouled as she goes to to the hoop. And I think they're going to call it on Mariah Ratcliffe, and if they do, that's her first, and it is Ratcliffe's first personal. So it'll send Kirby to the line. Aurelia Kirby to shoot two. Remember, she did not play last night. She was unavailable in the loss against Polka, so the Lady, excuse me, Lady Irish, glad to have her back in the lineup tonight. Aurelia makes one of two. She now has three on the night. Ten seconds to go in the first. Inside pass to Blake. Working against Rushworth, and Blake gets it to go. So our score at the end of one, it is Wheeling Central Catholic 14, Charleston Catholic 7. We'll take a break. We're coming right back. You're watching... West Virginia Girls High School Basketball on video production. Stay with us. Thornhill, our goal is to provide you with the best automotive experience. From our state-of-the-art facilities, amenities, and certified staff, we call family. You'll be offered the best experience you deserve. We take pride in our focus for customer care, bringing the best quality and support for all of our customers' needs. What are you waiting for? It's your time to get behind the wheel with Thornhill. Get started now at thornhillautomotive.com. Just tag it at Thornhill, where it's all here for you. US 119 Chapmanville and Logan, WV to Belfry, Kentucky. Massey Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. Welcome back to the Charleston Catholic Athletic Facility in Charleston, West Virginia, starting the second quarter. Lady Iris trail it by seven, 14 to seven. 
as Wheeling Central put together a couple of nice runs there in the first quarter to double up Lady Irish. And quickly a turnover as Kirby loses the handle. Shot from the foul line, no good from Haley Severins. Lady Irish with the rebound. Long pass to Mary Rushworth off the glass and good. Rahin to Rushworth, 14 to nine. Blake inside to Haley Severance, but Severance stepped on the baseline. And it'll be Charleston Catholic's basketball. Again, pressure defense from the Maroon Knights. Giving Catholic, uh, Charleston Catholic, a little bit of trouble. Rushworth will take the shot from three. Mary Rushworth. Seven points in the ball game now, and it's a two-point game. Ratcliffe with it, working against Rahin out top. Now right side to Blake. And Roberta Oliash wants a timeout. Nice job on the defensive end by Charleston Catholic, and it, Kind of frustrated the girls a little bit, and it's going to be a full timeout. So we'll take one as well. 6.33 to go. Wheeling Central by 2, 14 to 12. Stay with us. We're coming right back. Every bite better with Pepsi. Here at Children's Dentistry, you may notice that things are a little different. And mom and dad expect us to treat them like a child. Welcome back to Charleston Catholic's Athletic Facility. 14 to 12, our score in favor of the Maroon Knights. Out of the timeout, excuse me, out of the timeout, Coach Oliash wanted to talk it over with her girls as Charleston Catholic was making a run and they've just created a turnover. Aurelia Kirby down to Rushmore, left side, she'll drive baseline off her foot but now they're saying it went off of Haley Severin, so it'll stay Lady Irish basketball. Kirby trying to get it in, and she does. Rushworth puts it up too strong. Maroon Knights back the other way. Kirby with some nice defense and breaks it up. Addie Gray checking in the ball game. She replaces... Sarah Rahin, Gray, the 5'4 freshman, inside pass to Blake. That was easy. Caitlin Blake was six on the night, 16 to 12, our score. <clears throat> Rushworth likes the three, takes it, no good. Layla Carter is going to be tied up with Haley Severins and the officials call a jump ball. So on the alternating possession, it'll go back to Wheeling Central. And quickly, they get it up the floor. Inside pass, can't handle it. Haley Severins, shot goes up and a foul. And they're gonna call that foul on Addie Gray. That's her first. And that'll send Caitlin Blake to the line. She'll shoot a couple. Glad you're uh, watching with us tonight. A gentleman told me earlier he has a son clear out in California uh, watching this uh, ball game. That's the beauty of doing a stream game on YouTube or Facebook.com. Uh, we can uh, 
show um, show this game all over the country. So uh, his son is watching in California. Uh, I know someone watching down in Fort Myers, Florida, where it's hot and sunny all the time. And uh, glad to have you watching wherever you might be here on Video Productions. Carter drives the lane, can't get it to go. Turnover and a foul as Kirby goes to the line. And they'll call the foul on Haley Severance. That's her first. Now that was on the floor, so it's not a shooting foul. So Kirby will inbound under her own bucket. 2-3 defense from the Maroon Knights, and it's a steal. Nice job by Haley Severance. She gets the turnover for the Maroon Knights. Mealy tries to get it in to Blake, and it's stolen. Maddie Mealy, the 5'6 sophomore, just checked in a few minutes ago. Carter off the takes the little eight-footer, and it drops. She now has four in the ball game, and it's a four-point game, 18 to 14. Blake takes the layup, no good. Rushworth. Fighting for it underneath. She loses it. Blake gets the rebound off the shot from Peyton. And all kinds of action going on under the basket. And a foul finally called on Charleston Catholic. And if I'm not mistaken, they're going to call that on Aurelia Kirby. That's her first. That was a shooting foul. So, Caitlin Blake at the line. Shooting two, and she misses the first. Couple of changes for Coach Oliash. As Mealy and Ratcliffe take a seat. Caitlin Blake makes the second of her two-shot foul. Shot put up by Williams, no good. Rebound, here come the Maroon Knights. Peyton with it. Left side, left hand. Out top, foul line, all by herself. Shot is up and good for Severance. No, or up and no good for Severance. Out of bounds off Central, and it will be Charleston Catholic basketball. Again, a lot of pressure defense from the Maroon Knights in the backcourt. And as you can see, that is causing a little bit of trouble for the Lady Irish to get the ball up the floor. Nice job from Coach Oliash designing that press defense in the backcourt, giving the uh, Lady Irish all kinds of fits. Rushworth loses it. Severance wrestles it away and back the other way. Here comes Wheeling Central. Nice pass, nice ball movement. Underneath, Caitlin Blake, she scores another bucket. She's got seven in the second quarter, and it's a 21 to 14 lead. Layla Carter drives and scores. She's got six in the ball game. Five point basketball game with 339 to go. Shot no good, rebound Lady Irish. They try to push it up, but again, Maroon Knights with that pressure defense in the backcourt slows them down. Shot goes up for Mary Rushworth, and she's going to be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Pretty sure that Aaron Maxwell committed that foul, and she did. That's her first. In and out for Mary Rushworth. She's got seven so far tonight. (laughs) 
Fitzsimmons gets it to Severance at the foul line, back out to Maxwell. Fitzsimmons pulls up way short. Caitlin Blake says, I'll take that as a pass. And she puts it back in, nothing but net. Nine points for Caitlin Blake in this quarter. She's got 13 in the game. Kirby for three, off the glass, no good. And a jump ball, it's going to go back to Wheeling Central. 2.44 left to go here. It's a six-point game. And a timeout on the floor. Taken by Charleston Catholic, and it's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Want to invite you to tune in tomorrow at 5.30 as the St. Albans Red Dragons are going to play host to Calvary Baptist. That game was originally scheduled at 7.30, but it's been moved up to 5.30 because Calvary Baptist does not uh, have a JV team uh, that they put on the floor. So rather than make it a late night for everybody, they're going to play it late afternoon tomorrow, 5.30 tip time. We'll be live just before that here on Video Productions. I'll have the call for you live from St. Albans High School tomorrow night starting at 5.30. St. Albans Red Dragons and the Calvary Baptist men tomorrow night. But right now we've got a good one, six-point game right here, Wheeling Central and Charleston Catholic. Central with the basketball. Maxwell tries to get it down low to Severance, and Haley can't handle it, so it goes off of her and it'll be Catholic basketball. Mariah Ratcliffe checks into the ball game. She replaces Aaron Maxwell. Maxwell will sit down with two points. Again, nice defense from Wheeling Central. Talena Williams throws it away. Tried to get it to uh, Layla Carter, but it was too tall. Sarah Rahan has checked back into the ball game for the Lady Irish, the only senior on this roster. Peyton with it. Errant pass there from Fitzsimmons. Rahan back the other way for the Lady Irish. Kirby left side, three-pointer coming up. Russworth can't get it to go. Long three-pointers up and good from Addie Payton. She's got nine. Coming up on 1.30 to go here in the second quarter. Rushworth, baseline, out top to Kirby. Kirby drives and gets it stripped. She tried to thread between three Maroon Knight defenders, and she didn't get there. Peyton back the other way with a layup. No good, and off of Central, it'll go back to Charleston Catholic. Nine-point lead right now for Wheeling Central, biggest lead of the ball game so far tonight. Kirby, inside pass, now Rushworth, left side, she'll take the three. Off the rim, no good. Williams tries to get the rebound. She can't handle it, and it goes off of her Central Catholic basketball. Kirby with the press defense. Addie Payton, scoop, can't get it to go. She wanted the foul. She's like, what the heck? It's off off the uh, Maroon Knights, and it'll go back to Charleston Catholic. 47 seconds to go. Inbound to Kirby. And Addie Payton right there to cause some trouble. Kirby going coast to coast all by herself. Aurelia Kirby. Her fifth point of the night. Nice block on the other end from Layla Carter. Charleston Catholic trying to get some momentum back here. They trail it by seven with 16 seconds to go in the first half. 
Aurelia Kirby between the circles. Right side for three. It's Rushworth, no good. Severance with the rebound. Down court, Charleston Catholic steals it. Shot at the buzzer is no good by Talena Williams. Fast and furious in that final 30 seconds. And that's the end of the first half with our score. Wheeling Central 26, Charleston Catholic 19. We'll take a break and we'll come back here in just a little bit. You are watching Ladies High School Basketball in the great state of West Virginia on Video Productions. Stay with us. Here at Children's Dentistry, you may notice things are a little different. And mom and dad, expect us to treat them like a child. When you're repping the blue and gold, staying ready is key. That's why we hit up Little General Stores, our go-to when the clock is ticking. At LG, they're hustling to cover your daily needs, fueling you both on and off the court. From the finest snacks to a team that's always ready to assist, Little General Stores is the ultimate stop. You can rest easy knowing LG has all your essentials. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Find out more at lgstores.com. Take care of this by the end of the day. Uh, sure, I'll take care of that. Done. It's that easy with Compliance. Compliance, we've got your back office. You have a goal. You know what you want. Start with us, New River Community and Technical College, your community college. Take classes online or in a classroom in Beaver, Lewisburg, Summersville, or Princeton. Or step outside the classroom in one of our technical or health programs. Find flexible and affordable options to help you reach your goal. It's closer than you think when you start with us. New River Community and Technical College. Apply today. Grab the one thing that everyone's loving, and as it happens, they come by the dozen. Everybody loves it, and everybody knows it. Everybody loves a donut. Every bite better with Pepsi. Here at Children's Dentistry, you may notice things are a little different. And mom and dad expect us to treat them like a child. As it happens, they come by the dozen. Everybody loves it, and everybody knows it. Everybody loves a donut. I didn't choose the pain, but I put off having joint replacement surgery as long as I could. But it became unbearable. I didn't choose a bad knee, but I did choose Thomas. 
I trusted Dr. Freddie Persinger's orthopedic expertise. The nurses made me feel comfortable and I received encouragement every step of the way. And I'm grateful for every step. Choosing Thomas made all the difference. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. That's nearly 50 years of providing those essential needs for your daily journey. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. We know these last couple years haven't been easy, but with every sunrise and sunset, you keep us going. To the LG family, the moms, dads, sisters, brothers, sons, and daughters of West Virginia, thank you. Welcome back to Charleston Catholic's athletic facility. High on the hill in Charleston, West Virginia. Our score at halftime, Maroon Knights of Wheeling Central, 26. And the homestanding Lady Irish, 19. Leading scorers, first of all, for the visitors. Haley Severance has two points. Addie Payton, number 11, has nine. Caitlin Blake, 13, and Aaron Maxwell, 2, for a total of 26 for Wheeling Central Catholic. For the Lady Irish, they are led by number 10, Mary Rushworth. She's got 8 points, followed by Layla Carter with 6, and Aurelia Kirby with 5. So only 3 girls scoring for Charleston Catholic, and that gives them a total of 19 No real foul trouble to speak of. Nobody with more than one. So, Charleston Catholic just needs to do a little bit better job of taking care of the basketball. Wheeling Central in that first half put a lot of pressure on the Lady Irish as they were trying to bring the ball up after a made basket, even after a missed basket. They were uh, putting the pressure on the girls, and it was creating some turnovers. Meanwhile, they've done a good job, has Wheeling Central, getting the ball inside to their big girl, Caitlin Blake, who is 5'10". She's a junior, and again, she leads all scorers with 13 points. 26-19 is our score. We will take a break and come back and call the third quarter here for you. Coming up on Video Productions coverage of West Virginia High School Basketball right here on Video Productions. Stay with us. Here at Children's Dentistry, you may notice things are a little different. And mom and dad, expect us to treat them like a child. Duncan is here with your holiday helpers. Peppermint mocha and toasted white chocolate signature lattes. A touch of delicious holiday magic to help you seize the season. Sip through the holidays with signature lattes at Duncan. America runs on Duncan. Every bite better with Pepsi. Massey Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. At Boone Memorial Health, every patient is an important patient. She takes time and she cares about your concerns and she will get answers for any questions that you have. We're here to help and at Boone Memorial Health, we wanna make sure we provide the best care for you. I like the hometown feel. I like coming in somewhere where I know everyone and they know me. The trust I have in her is why I choose Boone. Boone Memorial Health, helping patients live healthier lives.
Getting ready for the second half here at Charleston Catholic Athletic Facility in Charleston, West Virginia. Wheeling Central up by seven, 26 to 19. Glad you're with me. three. Sarah Rahin to inbound, and here we go. Lady Iris with it, Mary Rushworth. To Aurelia Kirby. Rahin, Rushworth thought about the three. Stez kicks it back out to Kirby. Delina Williams had it taken away. So the first turnover of the second half for Charleston Catholic. Addie Payton with it. Left side three-pointer from Ratcliffe is no good. Sarah Rahin with it. She has not scored in this ball game. And another turnover. That's the second. Nice shot back the other way. That's a three-pointer from Addie Payton. Ten-point game now. Biggest lead of the night for the Maroon Knights. Mary Rushworth with it to Carter, to Rahin, right side to Kirby, long three, too strong. Central with the rebound, back the other way, here comes Payton. <laughs> Addie Payton dishes right side, jumper for Maxwell is no good, rebound, Lady Irish. Rushworth, left hand, now switches to the right, kicks it over to Aurelia Kirby. Right foul line extended. Kirby, long cross-court pass to Rushworth. She'll put it up for three, no good. Williams with position underneath to Kirby off the rebound. Miss, no good. Back the other way, here comes Wheeling Central. Peyton, long shot, no good. And a tie-up underneath. That'll be... Lady Irish basketball. Blake with a turnaround, and it goes. I meant to say it was Wheeling Central basketball on the alternating possession. Fans wanted to travel there from Charleston Catholic. They didn't get it. Addie Payton with it. Between the circles, right side. Now she gets it to Blake. Blake drives the lane, and it's blocked by Rushworth. Nice job by Mary. Two on two. And Rushworth will be fouled. That's going to go on Aaron Maxwell. It's her second. So that'll send Rushworth to the line. She'll shoot a couple. Too strong. And the second one, not strong enough. Lady Irish have not scored in this third period. They've been outscored five to nothing. And a tie up. It'll go back to Charleston Catholic.
Kirby brings it up the floor wildly, and she's going to be fouled. Third foul on Aaron Maxwell. Foul was on the floor, so Kirby will inbound. Tries to get it to Carter. Carter is tied up underneath, and a jump ball. That will go back to Wheeling Central. Annabella Fitzsimmons set to check into the ball game, and Coach Oliash wants to time out to talk to her girls. But they are on a run here. It's a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Central Catholic on a five to nothing. I don't want to call it a run, but they've outscored Charleston Catholic five to nothing here in this third quarter. I want to thank our sponsors, Children's Dentistry, Tracy Wilkerson. Man, we can't do it without our sponsors. Also, WVU Medicine, Thomas Hospitals, Orthopedics, Little General, title sponsor here for the entire season. Could not do it without him. We appreciate him very much. Left hand, and Blake can't get it to go. Caitlin Blake at the line. She'll shoot a couple. She's leading all scorers in this game. She has 15. 13 of them coming in the first half. Blake gets one of two to go. Again, there's that press from Wheeling Central. It's caused all kinds of trouble for the Lady Irish so far tonight. Rushworth takes the three, no good. Rebound, Layla Carter to Rushworth. She'll go baseline drive, easy bucket there for Mary Rushworth. And the first two points of the second half for Charleston Catholic go to the sophomore. Three-pointer up and good from Mariah Ratcliffe. She just checked it in the game a few minutes ago. Carter bringing the ball up. She's going to be fouled by Haley Severance, her second. Heidi Brammer checks into the ball game for Charleston Catholic. Addie Gray takes a seat. Another turnover, but it'll be Wheeling Central basketball. Really no help in the backcourt from Charleston Catholic, but they get the turnover anyway. As Aurelia Kirby will bring it up. And the pass out of the reach of Heidi Brammer. So trading turnovers here. Maddie Mealy comes back into the ball game for Central, replacing Fitzsimmons. Nice pass inside to Severance, but Rushworth there to block it. Severance with the turnover, back the other way. Left hand off the glass for Peyton, no good. And Blake right there to put the stick back in. And a timeout full coming up for the Lady Irish. 2.42 to go in the third, and it's getting out of hand. 37-21 is our score. We'll take a break. We'll come back right after this. Compliance helped me lose 50 pounds. 
by freeing up tasks like payroll, HR, and bookkeeping. I'm now free to do what I want. With Compliance, you can do what you want to do. Compliance, we've got your back office. Here at Children's Dentistry, you may notice things are a little different. And mom and dad expect us to treat them like a child. Hard to believe we're almost halfway through February. It'll be tournament time coming up next weekend. For the girls high school basketball all across the state of West Virginia. Rahan loses it. She'll take the three right side, still looking for her first points of the night. Off of the Lady Irish, back to the Maroon Knights. 16-point lead, the biggest of the ball game. They've been outscored 11-2. to two. Make it, uh, no, it's still 11-2 to two here in this third quarter. And they'll call the jump ball, and it'll go to Charleston Catholic. Rushworth with the shot from 15, too strong. Central Catholic basketball with 147 to go in the third. They lead it 37 to 21. Inside to Caitlin Blake, working against Rahin. And over the back by Haley Severance. That's her third of the ball game. She's the only player really in foul trouble now with three. Well, I take that back. Maxwell, Aaron Maxwell has three also for Wheeling Central. Aurelia Kirby can't get it across the timeline. It's stolen. Long three from Peyton is good. Addie Peyton, her second three-pointer of the quarter. She steals it. Another shot from Central, up, no good. Knocked out of bounds by Charleston Catholics to Lena Williams. It'll stay Wheeling Central basketball. But again, Charleston Catholic just cannot figure out that press. Haley Severance goes up, takes the shot. She's going to be fouled on the arm by Rushworth. That's Mary's second. That'll send Haley Severance to the line for the first time tonight. She'll shoot two. First one's in and out. Layla Carter back in for Charleston Catholic. Kendall Schmidt, the freshman, getting set to check in. She'll be coming in for the shooter should Severance make this, and she doesn't. Maybe she didn't want to come out of the game. Layla Carter drives inside to Williams, now to Rahin. Rahin off the glass, and Sarah gets her first bucket of the night. 40 to 23, it's a 17 point lead. Coming up on 35 to go in the third. Blake, baseline pass, nice job. Maddie Mealy. Mealy cut baseline and she was all alone. Easy bucket off the glass. (laughs) 
Sarah Rahin has it knocked out of her hands. It'll stay Catholic basketball. Well, I'll say I guess it's uh, enough team fouls there that it will put her at the line. No more one and ones anymore. Everything's two shots. Rahin's first is up and no good. And now Kendall Schmidt comes into the ball game, replacing Severance. Schmidt, freshman, 5'10". Rahin's second is up and good. Two seconds, one second. They're going to have to shoot it. They're not going to get it off. Nice defense there by Charleston Catholic. And our score at the end of three is Wheeling Central 42, Catholic 24. Stay with us. We'll be back to call the final eight for you right after this on Video Productions. I didn't choose the pain, but I put off having joint replacement surgery as long as I could. But it became unbearable. I didn't choose a bad knee, but I did choose Thomas. I trusted Dr. Freddie Persinger's orthopedic expertise. The nurses made me feel comfortable and I received encouragement every step of the way, and I'm grateful for every step. Choosing Thomas made all the difference. Here at Children's Dentistry, you may notice things are a little different. Mom and Dad, expect us to treat them like a child. Back live at the athletic facilities at Charleston Catholic High School. In Charleston, West Virginia, our final quarter underway as Wheeling Central outscoring the Lady Irish 16-5 in that third to open up a commanding 18-point lead as we head into the fourth. Caitlin Blake inside, takes the shot, no foul. Blake thought she was fouled by Talena Williams. She may have been. It'll stay central basketball. Addie Payton to inbound. Maxwell with it, right side, in trouble, needs to get rid of it, and she loses it. Rushworth with it, back the other way, Aurelia Kirby off the glass and good. Her first points of the second half, she had five at the break. Maxwell working against Carter. Peyton with it between the circles. She calls out play number two, whatever in the world that is. When you double team somebody, you leave somebody wide open, and that's just what happened, but the shot would not go down for Mariah Ratcliffe. Maxwell's tied up underneath. It'll be an alternating possession. The ball goes back to the Lady Irish. Williams to a trailing Aurelia Kirby. And unfortunately, Rushworth stepped on the sideline. Another turnover that goes back to Wheeling Central. Maxwell will have a seat and Annabella Fitzsimmons, the 5'9 freshman, checks back in for Coach Roberta Oliash. Ratcliffe puts up the shot, no good, and a foul underneath as Blake went for the rebound. I think they're going to get Rushworth. 
No, they did not. They got Layla Carter, her second. Blake, jumper, no good. Rebound, Williams. Kirby with the loose ball. Working against Peyton, getting it across the timeline. Mary Rushworth to Rahin. She thought about the three. Now to Rushworth, left side. Aurelia Kirby between the circles. She'll reset the offense. Six minutes to go in the fourth. Inside to Williams. Rushworth takes the shot. No good. Carter tries to get the rebound, but she's out jumped by Severance. Blake dishes off to Annabella Fitzsimmons, and she hits the three. That's her first bucket of the night. And Charleston Catholic wants a timeout. It'll be a full. We'll take one as well. 45-26, 19-point game here. We're coming back right after this. Thornhill, our goal is to provide you with the best automotive experience. From our state-of-the-art facilities, amenities, and certified staff, we call family. You'll be offered the best experience you deserve. We take pride in our focus for customer care, bringing the best quality and support for all of our customers' needs. What are you waiting for? It's your time to get behind the wheel with Thornhill. Get started now at thornhillautomotive.com. Just tag it at Thornhill, where it's all here for you. U.S. 119 Chapmanville and Logan, WV to Belfry, Kentucky. Massey Power Sports is your one-stop off-road and tractor destination. We have an awesome selection of side-by-sides, ATVs, dirt bikes, tractors, and kid machines. Our machines come loaded with features the other brands don't have and will save you thousands of dollars versus the competition. Massey Power Sports offers the best prices, the best service, and the best warranties. Our locations in Beckley and Cross Lanes are here to serve you. Online at MasseyPowerSports.com. Massey Power Sports. We power your work and your adventure. to go in the fourth. Big lead opened up now by the Maroon Knights. Carter drives baseline. She will be fouled. Caitlin Blake said, "But, but, 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 but I went straight up. Her second. Layla Carter's first is short. And she can't get the second to go. Nice job on the rebound, though, by Williams. Rahin thought about the three. She kicks it back out to Kirby. Williams, Rahin. She goes against Blake, takes the shot, and scores. Rahin now with five. The other way, Blake goes baseline. She can't keep the handle, and Rahin gets the loose ball. Kirby, right side, Rushworth. Threads the defenders, takes the shot, and Mary scores. She's got 12 in the ball game. Kirby back the other way, throws up way too strong. Charleston Catholic with the loose ball rebound, back the other way, and Carter wasn't expecting it. Turnover. Working against Kirby. Wheeling Central basketball. Caitlin Blake goes to the hole. And she'll be fouled by Layla Carter here third. Blake's first is up and good. Yeah. 
second one rattles around and goes out. Kirby to a cutting Rushworth. Nice play there. Great vision by Aurelia Kirby. Feeding Rushworth, cutting through the lane. Down to a 14 point game. And a nice job by Layla Carter, tying up Haley Severance. Still central basketball. Peyton will inbound under her own bucket. Ratcliffe with it, long three, short, rebound Rushworth. Here come the Lady Irish. Ratcliffe knocks it out of bounds. Charleston Catholic trying to make something happen here. Rushworth, three is short. Kirby with the rebound, runner no good. Rebound central. Kirby steals it. Lady Irish with some life here. Williams layup no good off the glass. 2.45 to go. Irish have cut it to 14. Inside to Blake. Boy, I tell you, that's been there all night. Caitlin Blake doing a super job playing the post. Carter drives, it goes off of Severins. It'll stay Charleston Catholic basketball. Kirby. From 15, no good. Central with the rebound. They clear it. Peyton, left side, inside to Blake, and it's knocked out of bounds by Talena Williams. Nice job from Wheeling Central right there, getting the ball up the floor, breaking that press. Honestly, they haven't had a whole lot of tr trouble um, moving the ball offensively tonight. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well with 2.08 to go in the ball game. It's all central. Full timeout. We'll be right back. Here at Children's Dentistry, you may notice things are a little different. And mom and dad expect us to treat them like a child. When you're repping the blue and gold, staying ready is key. That's why we hit up Little General Stores, our go-to when the clock is ticking. At LG, they're hustling to cover your daily needs, fueling you both on and off the court. From the finest snacks to a team that's always ready to assist, Little General Stores is the ultimate stop. You can rest easy knowing LG has all your essentials. Little General Stores, your road's neighbor. Find out more at lgstores.com. Back to live action here at Charleston Catholic's athletic facility. Wheeling Central in command here by 16. Shot is up and good by Severance. Make it up by 18, 50 to 32. And Wheeling Central has kind of quieted the Charleston Catholic ra uh, rally. Catholic trailed by 19 at one point, got it down to 14 on a 5-0 run. But Wheeling Central settled down here and has taken the momentum right back. 
Kirby to Rushworth. Underhanded layup. That's good. Eight points for Rushworth in this half and eight points in the first half give her 16 in the ball game. Again, tomorrow night, inviting you to enjoy uh, to join us at 5:30 as the St. Albans Red Dragons boys play close to uh, pay host to Calvary Baptist. It's, again, it's at 5:30 right here on Video Productions. I'll have the call for you from St. Albans High School. Kirby with her second foul. And that's off of Caitlin Blake. So a buck 20 to go and a 16 point lead for the Maroon Knights. And they continue to press in the backcourt. Hey man, if that's the way you play, that's the way you play. Williams with the jumper, no good. Rahin loses the handle. Back the other way, this will be an easy two. Nope, yep. It was going to be an easy two, but Peyton ended up with it. Ratcliffe, I was about ready to call the easy two there. Kirby against Peyton. Loose ball on the floor and a jump ball. It'll go back the other way. So Charleston Catholic will fall to 9-9 nine and nine on the year. Wheeling Central goes to 13-7. and seven. And again, if you can believe it, it's almost playoff time. Addy Payton just going to dribble it out. Charleston Catholic going to let him do it. Our final score is going to be Wheeling Central 52, Charleston Catholic 34. Really well-rounded performance from uh, the uh, Maroon Knights tonight. They played great defense, got the ball up and down the floor very easily, and the uh, Achilles heel for Charleston Catholic tonight was that they could not handle the pressure from Wheeling Central. So again, Catholic girls fall to nine and nine, Wheeling Central to 13 and seven. I want to thank our cameraman tonight, Ryan Matera. Our producer was Garrett Lester and the boss, Butch Mounts. Thank you for the work, my friend. Again, our final score, Wheeling Central 52, Charleston Catholic 34. You have been watching Girls High School Basketball from the great state of West Virginia on video productions. We'll see you tomorrow night from St. Albans. Good night. Every bite better with Pepsi. Here at Children's Dentistry, you may notice things are a little different. Mom and Dad, expect us to treat them like a child. Grab the one thing that everyone's loving, and as it happens, they come by the dozen. Everybody loves it, and everybody knows it. Everybody loves a donut. I didn't choose the pain, but I put off having joint replacement surgery as long as I could, but it became unbearable. I didn't choose a bad knee, but I did choose Thomas. I trusted Dr. Freddie Persinger's orthopedic expertise. The nurses made me feel comfortable and I received encouragement every step of the way, and I'm grateful for every step. 
Shoe St. Thomas made all the difference. Little General Stores has been serving West Virginia communities for almost five decades. That's nearly 50 years of providing those essential needs for your daily journey. We are so grateful to be a small part of your lives, and we want to recognize the integral part of our operation, the LG family. We know these last couple years haven't been easy, but with every sunrise and sunset, you keep us going. To the LG family, the moms, dads, sisters, brothers, sons, and daughters of West Virginia, thank you.